this much more. Um, that we meet at this maximum level throughout reproductive life, okay? Um, androgens are the masculizing hormones uh, secreted in smallness, gradually increasing amounts up to seven to nine years, and then rapidly increasing both sexes, males and um, males continue to rapidly uh, increase until 15 years old, and then they'll have a steady state. Responsible for rapid growth with early teens, and the testes secrete testosterone in males increase to maximum level maturity. Um, the tanner stages, I really look at the tanner stages and have a quote for the tanner stages, okay? What they are. So it be um, uh, it shows them the tanner stage one, two, three, four, five, four, okay? So you'll um, uh, in the, the yearly physical, the tanner stage is documented in every child's yearly physical, even if they're one. We will put TAM stage one. And that's why we do that, because if we notice that there hasn't been this change, and then suddenly they're having sexual sex characteristics, um, the secondary sex characteristics developing, especially in the board, we're being very concerned. That's why it's documented all the time. The other thing is we have some people that their grandparents or whatever, you know, like Mediterranean people sometimes they have like people be younger than uh, North Eastern European ancestry people. And They'll have a grandmother that's 4 feet 10. And the grandmother that's 4 feet 10 means, but you used, used to have to have a, 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 a telephone book with it to, to drive a block, put on the, 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 the pedals so they could reach them. Um, then you want to take a look at that and you want to maybe stay, there's a way to stave off um, puberty for a little bit longer with girls to try to have a little bit of length. It's not as dramatic as when they keep the boys giving them the whole thing. So that's something, it's because it's, it's, it's really difficult if you're 4 feet 10 and 4 feet 11 and the world's not built for that. Um, okay. Um, uh, <coughs> is the appearance of breast buds, age 9 to 13 and a half years old. Um, anarchy is the growth of pubic hair on the mom's pubis two to six months after telarchy starts, so after the breast buds. Here, I got, used to get people coming in with uh, concern that the child has a lump in their breast, okay? Mothers will come in with their daughters and they'll have a lump in their breast. And what it is is it's right underneath the nipple and it feels like a hard button. And that is a breast spot. And that is totally normal. And they come in because they need reassurance of that because the mother's convinced they have a breast cancer, okay? Uh, used to happen all the time. Um, and the other thing they come in and they say, my child has a, a, a lump here that feels very strange. What is that? You know, and I'm worried that something's, something's wrong. And if everybody feels that, that's right under, under your sternum, and that's that little point that sticks out, everybody has it. And you want to be very careful when you're doing chest PT that you don't go down there. You stay up on the sternum when you're doing chest, when you're doing, excuse me, chest compressions in CPR. If you, you snap that off, it can puncture the lung of the heart. So you don't want to do that. But they come in because they don't know what that bump is and it's more fun to do that children. So men are the initial appearance menstruation approximately two years after the first pubescent signs, meaning, you know, and, and then average age is 12 years old, nine and a half months in North America. Okay? Um, and that's in North America and, and the, the um, let's see. And it, 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 it is a real range of 10 and a half to 15 years of age. Some people can actually go through menarche later, okay? So, um, all right, sexual maturation of boys, um, nine and a half to 14 years. So if you've got the girls are 12, nine months, uh, and the boys are nine and a half to 14 years. So this usually happens two years before in girls, before it happens in boys, which is why you get that uh, they're usually the boys are bigger and, and, and way more than the girls, and then once you get up into puberty time, the girls shoot up, they're bigger and everything, they're taller than the boys all of a sudden, and then that straightens out and the boys grow up two years later. Okay? Just so you're not surprised. Um, you know, the larger the pubic hair growth, voice changes, facial hair starts to grow. And it's so weird. You get a kid who looks like they're 10, and you have, and they're exactly the same age as another kid, and maybe, as I said, you know, uh, Mediterranean ancestry or whatever reason for whatever the, the, the familial they go through puberty earlier, and you go to somebody else that's in there too that has actual facial hair and voice, and they're already getting more muscles because 
now that they've testosterone where they can actually build up. And the other kid looks like they're five years younger than it's ridiculous. And that does don't think that doesn't hurt their feelings. So anyway. Um, okay, temporary gynecomasty is in one third of boys. One third of boys will have gynecomasty. Sometimes it's unilateral and they won't ever take their shirt off. And some it gets they get so upset about it that the families actually have to have surgery to remove it. And you, they, they disappear within two years. It's just part of the hormones raging in their body, and they just develop this. And it's actually actually a third of that voice. So don't be surprised at that. Maybe I'll ask you a question about that, and then you guys won't mind about it, okay? Okay. Um, dramatic increase in growth of uh, company sexual maturation. So the growth is 20 to 25 cent percent of total height is achieved during puberty. That is astronomical. Think about that, okay? Usually occurs within a two, two to three year period. Um, characteristic symptoms and changes. Um, uh, let's see, sex differences in general patterns. Um, obesity is associated with early onset of menarche and growth, so you want to keep an eye on that so less, less effects predictable in the boys.
it says they can serve other spots and needs, mm, some days. <laughs> Homework is about your moral development, and that's um, you basically provide them with resources um, so that they can make their own decisions and involve the moral dilemmas. A challenge, challenge the old values. The child is going to now start challenging the old values and search for the new ones that, that they will take their place. And they also understand the concept of justice more and ownership and things like that, and reparation or making amends for the disputes they've done, repairing damage for law. Spiritual, they're going to maybe be influenced now by friends and stuff once they get older, but they usually the family instills that in them that they're never going to become their own person. They fear that others will not understand their feelings. Uh, social, to um, choose social maturity, they must uh, define identity and kind of become their parent authority. So now they're going to be pulling away from their parent authority. They're going to be there at the end of the month. Some days they're going to want to be with their parents. Some days they're going to want to be with them. You know, it, it goes back and forth um, in like the last year of high school or so. I don't remember seeing any of my children the last year of high school either. They were somehow alone anyway. They were either at someone else's house or someone else was at their house with them. So you didn't have that kind of time that you were used to. And acceptance by people was really important. Okay, so I'm going to make a note. So I'm going to make a note here that the uh, social development and relationship with their peers, you can read that. That's the next slide. Um, no, relationship with their peers. Where's the parents one? Huh. Oh, that one. We'll go to that one. Relationship with parents. I'll draw a line here. No questions after this. Ready? That's slide, uh, I that's slide 95. But that's, uh, I don't know why. Slide 20. No questions. Whoa. <laughs> Just slide number 95, yeah. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs>